watching Monty TV. I'm Jackie Karsh, sitting down now with Alan Miles. He's the president and chief executive officer of Sauce Labs, a cloud-hosted web and mobile application automated testing platform. Alan, that was a mouthful. That was, that was very good. That was long. <laughs> Alan, it's so good to see you again at the Montgomery Summit. So what has Sauce Labs been up to? Well, firstly, thank you for having me. It's nice to see you again. So we're in the testing business. We test software, applications, web browsers. Um, we bought four companies last year, so we've been pretty busy growing out this platform that you talk about to help developers test at speed and with as much quality as possible. For the ignorant of us, why is it so important to test a product before launching? And in fact, I would take that even a stage further. You also have to test when you're in production, whilst the app is absolutely working in your hands. So take, for example, the links between apps. Um, you may want a restaurant uh, application that links to Google Maps. There's a connection there, as you know, called an API. Often those, those APIs break. So being able to, in an automated fashion, always test how the application is performing means that the user is getting the experience that you want. We've seen with COVID so many businesses have to have some sort of digital footprint. How has that affected your business? Uh, positively, fortunately. Um, the fact that the word COVID means that we're in a low touch, no touch digital world. And yet it's a digitally dizzy world. So many applications. But when you're a developer, when you're an engineer, when you're building software, the pressure on you to release code quickly has grown exponentially because of COVID, because there's now more of a digital brand relationship with the customer. And so what's called the software development lifecycle gets faster, more complicated, and yet no loss of quality. So testing through the development lifecycle has become even more critical. How has the customer emerged as the one who's calling the shots now? Well, very much so. So we have a product that identifies errors while you're using the app. If you don't get those errors right, customers leave your app. Customers who get a bad experience, as we all know, are much more likely to not recommend your app, but also actually say some things about you that aren't good. So the customers become the center of this world. It's the center of the brand relationship. The app and the mobile browser is the product. With so much remote working, how much more important are these tests? I, I mean, substantially more for all the reasons that we've just talked about. The problem is, is that it builds an additional layer of complexity. And what Source is trying to do is reduce that complexity. We have a loosely coupled set of products that provide information to one another. So if there is an error whilst you're using the app, that error is reported back to the person in charge of the code as quickly as possible in asymmetrical communication in a remote world. And that makes the process move quicker with no loss of quality. I saw on your website there's a ticker for how many tests you perform. <laughs> What's happening when you reach 5 billion? Um, I'm I, 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 looking for the next 5 billion, I imagine. But I mean, 5 billion tests run uh, is quite the level of work that we get to. It's a fully automated system that enables you to be testing constantly and continuously what they call CICD in the software development lifecycle. So it's a pretty big milestone, 12 years in the making. All right, well, let's hope you celebrate with all the pomp and circumstance. Thank you so much, Alan. Thank you, Jackie.